The next generation of esports pros are dramatically changing the gaming arena. I'm Chelsea Grimes and I've come here today to meet some of the pros busting the stereotypes and making serious careers. So let's go. The youngest gamer to earn one million in esports winnings and I was 15 years old. I won the Spanish league. Played in front of 5,000 people in Tenerife. I am an esports professional and a Twitch streamer. Yeah. You are like one of the best players in the world now. My trophy that I got for second at World Cup, only like three people in the world have it. You won 1.5 million in a tournament. That's life changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. once I uh, got home and the dust settled, I knew it was like the start of my career. How many hours are you putting in really to be as good as you are? 12 hours, sometimes six hours. But the more you put in, the more results you're going to see. What do you think the biggest stereotype is within the gaming world? Gamers have no social life, maybe. It's been the complete opposite for me. I think I've traveled to about 15 countries in the last year. Do you enjoy living with a bunch of gamers? So it's basically living with your best friends. So if it's five of us in one house, so five players, and then the other house would be the coaches and the analysts. We just have like kind of a schedule together. It's actually a lot of fun. You are one of the few females who has broken through in esports. And when I was a child, gaming was a boys thing. It's definitely changing. There certainly are far more females into gaming now than when I originally started. VK Lion, female Chinese player, and she actually won the world championship last year. Sick. That's just one example of how, you know, the space is changing. So let's get into the university course then. How, how did that even begin? The course has been running for two years now. Stafford University, the very first higher education institution in the world actually, to start and form a esports degree. Esports can be explained in three things. Entertainment, competition, and community. Thinking back to when you was a pro player that there's now an actual university course on it. You learn about teamwork, you learn about motivation, you learn about critical thinking, strategy. <laughs> There's a lot of overlap between physical sports and esports. Regimen and practice, putting time and effort into getting better at your particular craft. I don't want to leave until I've just won everything and been considered as like a, a legacy player. Okay. Like that is my aim. Esports is going to rise for the next 20, 30 years until it's on the same level as football, if not more popular. My advice for any women wanting to get into the competitive space is you're there to enjoy the game just like anyone else. This industry really needs women pioneers to pave the way for future generations to come. With strategies, see what everyone else is good at, study what they do. Definitely, you need to have passion for the game that you're playing and you need to actually like enjoy it. Otherwise, you're not really going to get as far as the people who do enjoy the game and want to win, you know? Yeah. You just need to put a lot of game time and make sure you have the right equipment and stuff. We just need to work together. We need to come together, you know, bring out the communities. And keep it going. Yeah, let's grow each other. Win or lose. Solution.